How are we doing guys and girls? Anyways, I'm uh, making this video because I had a bunch of messages and emails about these butt stocks I've been making. And uh, the reason I made it was because I like this one, except I don't like the extra weight on the back of the gun. You know, um, it's just, I don't know, it, it's a nice bite stock and all, butt stock and all, but... The extra weight, it just throws the balance off for me, personally, on my guns. Anyways, I just wanted to show you these. And, uh, this is the one I made for the M4. And as you can see, this is all one piece. And what I did is basically duplicated the stock grip, as you can see. So the adjustability is the same as the stock grip. It doesn't go in and out, but it goes up and down. But what it does do is you have three positions here, which basically you just use an Allen, unscrew it, move it, put it back down. And it comes with stainless steel hardware in it as well. And I made these. These are out of TPU, and as you can see, they're real flexible. You gotta set them over here. You know, and also when I printed them, I printed them so there's lines going across this way, so that way they grab as well. But they're real flexible, you know. Also, I made these discussions so these will go inside like that, so it'll hold them in place. And then I used a little M3 stainless, the stainless steel washer in the discussion, and it sits basically almost flush, as you can see. But you guys were asking me for some close-up pictures, so I figured I'd show you. These are them, and if you look at this, these two together, what I did was I brought this down, and I made more of an arch, so it grabs your shoulder more, because this is more straight up than this. So that's another thing I changed a little bit. I made this basically just about the same, and I made a block here. And these, that part of this is all one piece here. Alright. And then I also make one for the Leopard. Because no one else does. And I've been wanting one for the Leopard since I got it. So here it is. Basically two screws. M5s. And basically on the Leopard, it'll allow you to adjust it. As you can see. You'll have probably, I don't know, an inch, inch and a half, inch, either way, inch and a half of adjustment. But basically this operates the same way. And if you notice, this doesn't have any of the discussions on it. And like I said, these are real flexible. You can, I don't know if you can see these up close, this camera. See the little lines in them. That's what grabs your clothes or shirt or whatever. But this is the Leopard one, anyways. I just wanted to show you guys up close. And this is made from PPACF, which it's kind of expensive, but strong, strong, strong. That's what I make these aqua reels out of right here. This is for the M4. And then like the one on my Leopard right there. It's the same stuff. And I was going to question. See these are the uh, discussions for these. They fit into those. And then they go on. I also made these. See these here. But I was like eh. That's kind of shabby. And I also found files for these butt pads as well. And I can't remember what site I found them on. But I seen them on, was one website, someone was talking about them. And they had a, a, um, attachment to, with, with a, to download. So I did, and I printed them out. And these are rubbery as well, you know. They got like little teeth, if you can see here. But these are pretty nice as well. 
And these go basically just like that. But anyways, I wanted to show you that. But the biggest thing was the weight. This is what I got to show you, okay? We got to bring you over here. It's, you'll see the difference. We're going to zero the scale. Just so you know and I know. Okay. So... This is the part that goes into the gun. And that alone, oh, that ain't on grams, hold on. I think that's grams, yeah. This alone, just that part, is 169, 170 grams almost, okay? Then you have this, three hundred and thirteen grams. So a hundred and seventy. So that's almost four hundred grams, right? On the back of the gun now. This is where I like this because now. I got the same thing, and it's 179, 180 grams, 300 grams lighter. That is why I did it. So the gun balances a lot better now. It's basically balanced, taking that extra weight off the back of my, this gun here. And the Leopard, they're a little bit heavy in the back. Not too bad, but when you add this on, it, it's heavy. So, um, like I said, I scrambled for quite a while looking to see what I could come up with. And um, this is what I came up with. And yes, I am selling them, guys. I had a bunch of you ask them how much this and that. They're going to be on the website for uh, $69.95. I'm not, you know, I think that's reasonable there. It took me uh, hours to draw this up. And to make this curvature different than that. I don't want that the same as you can see. Um, so anyways. Um, they're $69.95. And the Leopard is the same. $69.95. Comes complete. And I think I'm going to in, put these escutcheons on just like this. Because it makes it look really nice. And it keeps them in place. All right, everybody, I just figured I'd uh, make this video and show you guys this, and y'all have a good night.